Anita is with us in Pensacola to start off this hour. Hi, Anita. How are you? Hi. I'm fine. Thank you very much. Good. How can I help? Uh, well, here's here's the little rundown on it. Uh, my husband and I are 65, and we hope to retire in about five years. We're, we're planning to work until 70, or if one of us should get disabled, then we would retire then. But we are out of debt. We have our emergency fund, Good. and 15% is going into retirement Good. right now. Good. Uh, we're at a point that we were thinking uh, to go ahead and start paying off the house. Good. But here's the thing. Since we only have about five years to go, mm-hmm. and I, I don't know. I haven't looked at the, at the figures just in the last little while. Uh, last year, when we met with the Smart Duster Pro, we had a little bit less than a hundred thousand. I mean, two hundred thousand mm-hmm. in retirement. But that was just as we were starting the fifteen percent. Mm-hmm. So at this point, we don't know. We have a, like I said, we have a small mortgage, and it's at four point eight seven five. Mm-hmm. In other words, four and seven eight. Mm-hmm. Um, so we're trying to determine whether we should just start putting all that extra into retirement or paying off the house. Uh, you should put 15% of your income away and everything else you can find in your budget you use to pay off your small mortgage. What's your household income? Uh, about 75000 Between the two of you? Right. Okay. And how much is the mortgage balance? The mortgage balance is about 63000 Okay. All right. And so... Uh, if we really lean on this mortgage because it's an emergency, because it kind of mm-hmm. is, uh, okay. if you if you paid, you said sixty three thousand, right? Right. You make seventy five, so thirty one right. would thirty two would pay a year would pay it off in two years, twenty one would pay it off in three years. Okay. So sounds like two thousand dollars a month on the mortgage. While you're putting okay. at least fifteen percent away, now that puts right. you at three we years. Are, that puts you at three that, years yeah. later. Your house is paid off, because here's the thing: okay. you need both going into retirement. And let me walk you through why: right. you need a paid-for house and a nest egg, because a paid-for uh-huh. house is your your housing is your most expensive line item in your budget. If you don't have it paid for, if it's re- if you're renting, it goes up every year while you cr- try to live from 70 to 90. Over 20 years, your rent's going to go through the roof. So, number one, you own. Number two, you right. get it paid off, and then you've gotten rid of the biggest item on, on your budget, your house payment. Okay, okay. So, you've stabilized your golden years by getting the house okay. paid off. And then, of course, we need this stuff like food and electricity and gas for the car and that means we need to have money coming in from retirement which is the nest egg side and so right. you know I, but i think you're going to be fine here here's let's run some numbers out let's say you did 21,000 a year uh, or you did $2,000 a month you can do that uh, you just got to get on a tight budget and watch what you're Ooh, doing cuz this sounds, is important <laughs> that sounds tough <laughs> it's very tight it's very tight tighter than you've ever lived on i know that because you don't have any money much and you're 65 no so it's time well, for you we, time for you to tighten the screws up kids college I, I, I know, but here we are today. Dime, it's time so. for you. you you got to do this now. There can't be any yeah, more reasons. There can't be more reasons. you got to do okay. it. So $2,000 a month puts you out of debt in under three years, slightly under three years. Okay? Okay. And now, the 200000 you said was two years ago. Uh, well, about a year and a half ago. Okay. If you didn't add anything to that, and you will be, that 200000 will double about every seven years if your mutual funds are earning around 10% or more, and they should be. Okay? So two hundred okay. is going to be 400 when you're 70. Okay. Because there's two years ago, seven years to 70, right? Right. So that's 400 plus you're going to be putting in another $1,000 a month, which is $12,000 a year, which is 15% of your income into retirement and you've already been doing that so you've already got a little more and you're gonna be doing that for the entire five years oh wait no you're gonna be doing that only for under three years and then there's no house payment so now you can go to two thousand dollars a month going into nest egg oh okay and two thousand dollars a month twenty four thousand a year 
plus 12000 a year for three years. So you, 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 there's another 150000 <laughs> bucks plus what it grows. Okay. So by seventy, okay, by seventy, <laughs> you should have six, seven hundred thousand bucks in a paid-for house if you do exactly what I told you. But if you go screwing around and keep messing with this and, and coming up with excuses, you're gonna have a mess. So you need to act like your hair is on fire for the next three years. Two thousand dollars a month plus a thousand dollars a month into retirement. That's three thousand dollars a month. By the way, three thousand dollars a month, thirty-six thousand out of seventy-five thousand. That leaves you. That leaves you enough to live on. Okay. But you okay, ain't living large. You're living small. No. No. <laughs> so we that, never have lived large. <laughs> yeah. So that you can have some golden years from seventy and on, right? Okay. Yeah. This is that this is within good. your reach. The math says you can do it. Now, personal finance is eighty percent behavior, it's only twenty percent head knowledge. We just gave you the twenty percent head knowledge. Now you gotta go do the behaviors. Which is by the way is the hard part. I mean, the math of becoming wealthy is not hard. It's, it's sixth grade math, but nobody does it. So, hey, good question. Thank you for joining us. Here's what's interesting. If your mutual funds average 12%, which the stock market has averaged a little over 11 and a half since it began. So if your mutual funds slightly outperformed the market and you made 12% and you put $100 a month away, from age 25 to age 65, $100 pizza breath. You spend that on pizza, $100 a month. Every month from age 25 to age 65 is $1,176,000. Everyone in America should retire a millionaire. If you grasp that knowledge, Oh, wait. You have to do the behavior. <laughs> oh, there's the problem. The idiot in my mirror is a problem child. If I could get this guy to behave, he'd be skinny and rich. But he's got issues. The behavior, people, it's the behavior. It's not the math. The math is not hard. We make enough money in this country to be wealthy. But it's controlling our little selves. Me too, baby. That's the problem.